The first award we'd like to give out is the Carolyn Travis Jenkins Award, and this award was initiated at the 15th International Harm Reduction Conference in Belfast in 2005. And it's awarded to a person who uses drugs who has made an outstanding contribution to supporting harm reduction, either within their own country or around the world. And this year, on behalf of Harm Reduction International, I'm very pleased to present the Carol and Travis Jenkins Award to Abdur Rahim Rajay. Rahim started working as a peer educator for Médecins du Monde in Kabul in 2008. Before this his time, he was one of 2,000 people who used drugs living homeless in the bombed and derelict ex-Russian cultural center in Kabul. Rahim went on to be the first person on methadone in Afghanistan in 2010, and also to be an outreach worker working in the infamous open drug scenes at Pulasokta and elsewhere in Kabul. Rahim has challenged human rights abuses against people who use drugs by the police directly on the ground by giving evidence to the UNAIDS board despite huge personal risk to himself. Over the last two years, Rahim has been building a new drug user-led NGO called Bridge. And in 2015, Bridge has conducted community consultations with people who inject drugs and other key populations. Rahim is living evidence that the power that drug user activists can play in galvanizing change and championing health and human rights, even in some of the most challenging contexts. His personal bravery, persistence, and courage is an inspiration, and we're delighted to award him this year's Carol and Travis Jenkins Award. Dear friends, good afternoon. Thank you so much, Rick. I am very proud to accept this award behalf of the over 300 members of Bridge or Pool, an NGO formed of Afghan drug users and sex workers. I would like to thank Oliver Maggie from MDM who first met me in 2008 when I was living homeless in Brandt born uh, old building of uh, Russian Culture Center in Kabul with abscess in my ground and little hope in my heart. Oliver and uh, my friends in MDM offered me the chance to be the first person in methadone in Afghanistan and this changed my life. In, uh, in 2010, I came to the International AIDS Conference in Vienna, and I met uh, Matt Sotwell, who later that year came to Kabul with Loon Ganget, and uh, they helped me set up the, what was the, called Afghan Drug User Group. Since 2012, I have been working with the COAC team to give a voice to Afghan drug user, and uh, I want to thank Matt and the uh, COAC team for their uh, solidarity and support. I would like to thank the National AIDS Control Program, especially Dr. Fedor Mohammed Paikon, for uh, working with Bridge to help us register our, our NGO and uh, involve Afghan drug users and other key population. I want to thank all our friends in the WHO, UNAIDS, UNADC, and the uh, Global Fund for uh, their funding and support. Uh, I would also like to thank the Afghan NGO who hosted our focus group for uh, the community consultation. I would like also to thank Menara uh, for helping me attending key conferences and uh, I salute my peers and Mena input. Most of all, I want to thank my team of 13 bridge peer workers uh, and our team uh, to 
translator and technical advisor for working in the ground, uh, delivered the community consultation that reached over 400 people who inject drug and other key population in four cities in Afghanistan in 2015. The community consultation shows the uh, significant challenge uh, faced by Afghan drug users and other key population. This award is a great uh, acknowledgement of our work, out we, but uh, we now need the funding uh, to carry on uh, and to give bridge and drug user and key population of Afghanistan the chance to be part of the change. That is so much needed in my trouble, but beautiful country. Thank you once again for this award. Now I have hope in my heart. Thanks.